kind of stuff. I don't know. I might. We'll, we'll figure out something. something. Oh. It's Jeff. Hey, Kikoa. What's going on, man? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Bro, we were just talking about that. Okay. Absolutely, man. I got it. Ha. Awesome. All right. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Aloha. That was Kekoa. What does Kekoa want? He wants to make some more of the, you know, the feathered hat band things. Alehulu. Whatever, okay. But, so he wants to make some of those, so he asked me if I can get him a couple turkeys. All right, well, I'm going scouting today, and then I'll meet you at the beach. How about that? Okay. Well, that's a typical day here at our house. He goes hunting and I go to the beach. But I guess that makes for a happy marriage, right? Oh, turkey hunting. Yeah, I don't go turkey hunting. I'm a Shimabukuro bra. I like pig hunting. I grew up on the pig farm. And I needed more eggs for grind you. So after breakfast this morning, Nahul ran off to the beach with her paddleboard, do her all stand-up paddleboarding stuff. I made a bunch more eggs for Rod and he sat there. I think went into a food coma afterwards. And then I went out and scouted several different places. One in particular, a coffee land up in Holuoloa. I went down through there and there was turkeys everywhere. They were in these big monkey pod trees. We had them sitting in a big mango tree behind us. And we had another tree that sat up there. I don't know, maybe another mango or something. There's just, they were, where I want to set up is like right in the middle. It's only, it's about a 90 to 100 yards, I'm going to say roughly. I didn't mark it off from where they cross over the fence. And so it's, uh, I think it's gonna be a really good place. All right, well, it's 5.30 in the morning. You can see we're, we're in here in Kailo Kona. That's Kailo Kona down there. You can hear the koki frogs. We've got kokis everywhere. So I came out here yesterday evening and I roosted these birds. Okay, roosted, for people who don't know what that means, is when the birds fly up in a tree just before they go to bed. That's what roosted is. You get one group that comes up, you get another group that'll come down after them, you get some hens in there, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up these rows, there's rows of coffee. It goes down like this, and as they fly down, they usually come up and what I'm hoping to do is call them back in to me. They like to cross at this fence up here or they'll come out his main gate over here. So I'm just hoping that they're coming. I sent them an email, you know, the turkey's the email and we'll see if they got that email or not. But uh, so. Okay, in Hawaii, we're allowed to take both birds the same day. I figured I will try to get one. I'd like to shoot one with the bow. But, uh, you know, I've got to get some turkeys for these people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot with the shotgun, and bust one. And then uh, if we get a chance to maybe spot and stalk down through here or something, then we'll go ahead and spot and stalk and try to shoot a, uh, a turkey with the bow. All right. So from here, what we're going to do is uh, we've got about another 120 yards to go. Birds are roosting in a big monkey pod tree right over the hill. So I want to cut the lights off. We're going to go Swiss silent and deadly out here. More like slow, loud, and clumsy. We'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, my God. 
the turkeys are going crazy all around us. Did you hear that? Here we go. Oh, boob. Smoked him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hawaii turkey down. For all my rest, my wrestling friends out there, a little bit of macho man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have that, sorry. I think that other one might have had a longer beard on him. But this is definitely a nice bird right here. He's got the nerves to kick him. Grand Turkey, baby. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. That's what it's all about. I cut that one, crap. There's nine and a quarter. Exactly one inch spurs. God is good. Look at the one behind me too. Can you believe it? There's still birds flying down off the roost. I bet we could sit here and call him in too. I just sat down and birds started coming out of all the coffee trees. It was cool. Man, tell me you didn't catch that. Uh, yeah. We got that. These are some stupid birds, dude. I'm going for them. Did I ever mention I like stupid birds?
How is that? How is that? One with the shotgun and one with the bow. I can't believe they kept coming in. This one's a young bird. Hey, young fella. Woo! I didn't think they were gonna come back in. I was like, they're turkeys. Turkeys look at you and they're like, no. Oh, everybody go, but. <laughs> it's like, Ooh. Oh my goodness. He wasn't going anywhere. See, he just, still a young bird, but he's still got a nice, nice bird, a beard on him. I don't know if you want to call them spurs. They're half inch spurs. Eh. You don't eat the spurs anyway, huh? Actually, that's bigger than I thought here. A little over seven and a half. Man, how is that? How is that? They come, he come right back in. I think this is one that was getting beat up though, cause he's young. And if you guys noticed, I don't know if you could see it or not. When they're coming around, the older birds flying over the fence, flying over the fence, and uh, I think it's the one that kept getting beat up. They kept chasing him, so he figured, eh, well, I'll come down, check out the wahines, see what's happening. And uh, he got the smack down on him. So man, what an awesome day. I got two tags, two Hawaii tags just got filled this morning. This is March of uh, 2014, March 15th. We're sitting in a coffee land and we call this Kona, Kona snow. If you look at the, it's kind of dying out, but you look at all the white flowers off of the coffee trees. Uh, got a very distinct smell on that and everything. So anybody who drinks Kona coffee, this is what your, this is the coffee trees he's come off of. And so uh, I've got a friend who, who owns this and he's got problems with pigs here. He's got all these turkeys. You've seen how many turkeys come off the roost in here. And they come through and, and they'll scratch around, kind of tear it up. They crap everywhere. Nobody likes them. They sit on his porch. Anybody who's got turkeys or chickens running around the house, you understand that. So, uh, man, I'm stoked. Look at that. One with the shotgun. I figured they would have just they'd have ran for the hills. But, uh, my goodness. I had to put a second shot on this one, though. He was good. He sat there. and So I put another shot. Got him right there and just stuck him, so. I mean, how does that look for a... Look at that, two Rio Grande turkeys. Nice birds. If you ever come out to Hawaii and you come out during March, from March 1st, March 31st, that's our turkey season. Man, they're all over out here. Right on, let's get these birds tagged and get them back to the truck and we're on it, thanks. Hey, brother Jeff. Hey, Kekoa. How's it? What's up, Gunny? Not much. Hey, I got a couple turkeys last night. I was gonna bring them out to you, but uh, well, we're here. Hey, man. I brought my stuff because I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do with those birds you got me. Awesome. Hey, why don't you set up? I'm gonna put the birds back in the freezer and we'll see what you got. Sounds good, man. Shoot. Aloha. My name is Keiko. I'm here to visit my good buddy, brother Jeff, the gunny. I'm gonna show him how to make the feather hat bands. We call it in Hawaii, lehulu. Ready? What's up, gunny? Oh, look at this. Yeah. So what do you got? Well, come on in and I'll show you exactly what I do. Okay. All right, gunny, here we go. Hey, by the way, thank you so much for getting those birds for me. Oh, um, I appreciate it. But I just wanted to show you that this, uh, of course, you know, you're a bird hunter, so. A nice pheasant, huh? Yeah, this is a ringneck pheasant, and this is what I'm going to be doing with your birds. Cool. Um, these feathers here, we don't use them all on one lay, 
but what we do is we kind of individually pick out the ones that we want depending on the design and we get a scissors we get in there and there we actually cut them off one by one right? wow we cut them off one by one and um we separate them like you see i have here right okay and when you're actually not doing a lay this is what we do we got them all set up in bags set up accordingly so that we know what we're doing when we're setting them up but i just wanted to show you um, with all the different feathers i have here this is a as you probably know already a full feather mm -hmm. right and what you have on here is three separate cuts right and if you look here jeff you can see mm -hmm. i got the first cut uh-huh which is the very tip okay and then i got the second cut right which obviously is the middle okay and this is the third cut sometimes the feather is big enough where you can actually use the third cut sometimes you just throw it away okay okay just to show you what i do i got a three little containers i got a little scissors mm -hmm. and i got a little measuring device right and this i got in my hand is a, a full feather so how i make a lay is i'll take my measuring device i'll take a full feather and i'll slip it on here and i'll pull it down and i'll match the tip and i'll take my scissors and then i'll snip it off okay okay so when i do that i'll have this right here this is the first cut oh that's easy yeah it's not too just bad time consuming just time though, consuming yeah? takes a lot of time and then here i have a brand new piece of this is just felt material that we saw on the end on the back side and i'm just going to show you how we lay it out we get this out the way here and what we do is we put a needle and thread we put a knot on the back we stuck it in and we take our feathers like this and i'll take the first one and i'll lay it on like so right so it's kind of angled that way okay and then i'll put three stitches one two three okay so like top medium and bottom, bottom kind of yes okay. exactly then i'll take the second feather and i'll put it on the right side and i'll do the same stitch one two three okay then i take the third feather and i put it right in the middle and one two three again wow okay and after i'm done with that then i get the next set of feathers and i continue the process wow. all the way down till i'm finished and if you look here i got I got one lay started with a brown feather. It's actually mixed with, you can see a little tinge of white yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's mixed in there. And you can kind of see the right stitching will kind of create a curve on it. Oh, I can see like you a see little, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's why I got it on this thing because you can do about two inches in your hand and then it gets kind of bulky. Oh, okay. You know? So I keep it on here and we stitch it. And then I got another one here, which is the second cut. So I got the first cut here okay i got the second cut here okay right and then we huh. we finished the whole thing and if you look on my my wife's beautiful lauhala hat here oh okay okay now tell me what do you notice about that jay well i mean looking at it you can see there's kind of rounds over so you got like a hump down the middle yeah? yeah it's a hump down the middle and sometimes that hump tells you that somebody knows how to make a leg Oh yeah, because you can see, you can feel all the stitching inside. There's oh. there's something in there. It's not just glued together. <laughs> oh okay, yeah. And then of course this last one here is just a, you know, this is a beginning experiment one. Experiment one for my wife. It's called a poi poi, right? What's poi poi mean? Poi poi means round. Oh, okay. Right? You can see how it's. Yeah. Can I see that? Yeah. Go ahead, hold it up. And just to let you know, wow. that's this first cut oh all the little ones yes it's taken and then what you do with your finger is you kind of you crimp the middle like so uh. and then you put it on there and you just wrap it around no wonder these things cost 500 bucks each yeah this must take forever well what it depends on is the like look at this jeff you see these red feathers right these are basically goose feathers that they've dyed red oh okay so when you buy a bag of red feathers it's kind of cheap yeah right because it's all the same but the lays get more expensive depending on where you get the feathers from. Oh, okay. That's why these feathers here that's only got a few, you need about 10 bird pelts to make one. Right, lay, so right. The price goes up. Oh, you know? yeah. But just a little bit of what 
I'm going to be doing with the feathers you, with the birds you brought me. Okay. You know, I really appreciate it. And, oh, no uh, worries. Thank you for it. And uh, maybe I'll get one for that um, cowboy hat you got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anthony yeah. made that beautiful La Hala, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. This is La Hala, too, my wife's one. So I'll get that done. And uh, just wanted to share with you how we do it, man. So, right you know, anybody that needs them. Give you a call? Them. Yeah. Suits? Aloha. Aloha. Thank you, brother. Hey, this is it. You know, I appreciate you guys watching the show. And if there's something that you need, we'll put uh, Kekoa's number up. Um, these things are beautiful. And so I encourage you to check him out, see what he's got. Until we meet again, ahui ho. Aloha.